um, being out there, like I said, is a is an extreme blessing. I'm thankful for and grateful for it, but it is a frustrating process just being out there. You know, like uh, uh, I, I feel like a, a a clipped wing, a bird can't fly with a clip clip wing, so it can be frustrating while you're trying to um, you know get back to 100% and just dealing with what, um, what I'm dealing with. So uh, that's why I said it's good for me to be out there. Like I said, to try to adapt and my body just um, kind of make this next jump, this m next step, um, building some momentum into the end of this season and uh, OTAs, whatever. How clipped is the wing? Uh, it's, you know, it's a hard question. I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, like I said, uh, you know, um, I've been leaning on a verse. It, it, you know, it says, uh, I will not die. Um, you know, I will live and uh, proclaim what the Lord has done. So that's just what I'm um, leaning on. And that's all I can do. You think you got a shot to play maybe in the finale or, or just with the two? I mean, I'm just showing up every day to try to get better and, you know, push my limits and, and see um, what I got, you know, what, what juice I got on my, my my left foot, my leg. And, uh, 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 yeah, that, that's that's all I'm doing, it, taking it day by day. I'm definitely not trying to rush nothing. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. Did you surprise yourself at all that you were even able to come back this season, at least into practice? Yeah, you know, I've been very reserved with what's been going on. But, honestly, um. You know, if you would have asked me a month ago, or not a month ago, but two months ago or some things, you know, I, I'm definitely surprised at where I'm at. And it's been, I'm grateful to, you know, be able to go out there and run around a little so bit. So when did you start feeling good enough to be able to do this, what you're doing now? Um, so over time, slowly my, my strength endurance increased. And uh, it's uh, it got to the point where I felt like I could go out there to try to push it, make the next jump. So that's, that's where I'm at. You say what you're not 100%, that... but how – good emotionally did it feel to kind of be back out there you need to do some work with it um it's 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 all it's a great i'm grateful to be out there it's just it's still frustrating but emotionally i am thankful and grateful for to be here and be out there on the on the football field caleb you talked about that nerve a little bit is that better than just in terms of the nerve with the back oh uh, it's healing okay yeah it's it's healing I, I still got a little bit of bit to go hopefully that's why i'm out there i can make that next jump and uh get back the you know, full participation. You guys can try it on an experienced starter. Uh, it's definitely great, you know, having someone who's ran the offense, you know, for years, definitely to come back. So it'll be awesome. It'll be like never missing a page, never missing a beat. What do you see in the Seahawks defense? Uh, they have really good players. You know, they fly around. They're a physical team. Uh, their zone coverage is really good. It always has been good. And they're all, they're a disciplined team too. So. People have been talking a lot about motivation over the last few days now that playoffs are off the table. Yes. What is kind of motivating you for these last few games? For me, uh, I'm doing my dream job every day. So for me, it's the same thing. You know, if we weren't if we weren't making the playoffs, and obviously there's an element to it as well that you're not just playing for your team. Obviously, you're playing for, you know, all 32 teams at the end of the day, guys who are going into free agency, you know, guys who have their own individual goals. So we all, we all have our own individual motivations for uh, playing, but... Mine is just, I'm not about to go out there and just not play. I'm not, not compete, so that's not who I am, so, yeah. Jake, what about the difference in your production in the last handful of games? You're, you're making more catches, getting more involved. Anything change, anything different? Um, no, just make, I think just making them, you know, just having a clear head and being out there more confident and just, you know, just making the plays. That kind of my way. Experience they're getting it. Yeah, you always want to see young guys like that get snaps and get experience. Um, obviously, I feel like I'm feel fortunate I not have the amount of snaps I did and can keep improving on that. Um, but it's cool to see other guys get in and develop, whether it be Will or Tajay or Jalen or or Josh or, or Colton. You know, guys getting in, getting time and getting better. Um, you know, that's really the only way to improve is to get those live snaps. So it's cool to see guys getting that already. Important, I guess, to finish strong, and, and do you believe that momentum carries over from one year to the next? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, obviously, like these last two games are still going to be on tape. You know, they're still NFL football games. Um, all 32 teams are going to watch them, so I think you still want to put out a great product and improve and, and get better at, at your craft, and that's my goal these last three games, and obviously to win. You know, if we go out and play a football game, the goal is to win, and that's what we're going to try to do. How do you feel like you progress? What do you feel like you progress the most, and what are some areas you kind of feel like I've got to get better moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think in terms of overall, just kind of knowledge of scheme and um, just sort of for, sort of feel for the game I think has been a lot better and certain techniques I felt like I've made huge jumps you know from when I started out as a guard 
Um, you know, there's certain areas with pad level and punch, you know, I think I can be better at too. Um, so just kind of dissecting all that and trying to improve on it through the week here and then putting that on tape on Sunday. How do you approach your week when you're not exactly sure who, the quarterback, who your quarterback's going to be? Yeah, I think it's just you block for the guy who's back there. Um, both those guys do a great job of, of running the offense and getting the plays in and making the right calls. And, you know, it doesn't change. You still got to protect. You still got to do your job. And that's what we'll do. Playing in the NFL, this still is pretty cool. Uh, uh, I, I thought about that this morning. Matter of fact, um, I was just like, you know, it sucks that we're not going to the playoffs, but man, I'm still in the NFL, still getting to live out my dream and many others' dreams. So you know, just gotta be present and just gotta uh, be appreciative for what you do have. Uh, a lot of guys, including Elijah, just moments ago, were saying, yeah, for the fans, the year might be over, but for us, it's not. It's about carryover. Talk about some of the things that you want to do over the course of the next three games to carry into next year. Uh, honestly, like, um, it ain't nothing that I can, you know, that I really want to do, like, uh, for myself. It's just, like, being the best teammate I can be. That's all it's about. Like, you know, in, it's, in these, top, these hard times, you got to, like, establish, you know, you got to establish relationships, and um, you just got to build relationships around, you know, with the guys that you go to war with every day. But, uh, like, you know, everybody can say we're building for the future, but, like, I just want to be present and just make sure I ain't missing nothing in, in this moment right now because, you know, one thing about this moment, you know, you'll never get it again. Yeah.